Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish and Total War Saga Troy has just officially been announced with a cool announcement trailer. I thought what we would do in today's video is just quickly kind of run through all the information. I'll give you my opinion on it if you guys care about that. Um, we'll watch the trailer. We've got uh, the Steam page as well as a FAQ that they just released. So I'm happy they went ahead and gave us a bunch of information on the game um, alongside the announcement trailer. Also, I apologize that this isn't in night mode. Apparently you can't stick it in night mode. Oh, you can actually. Okay, there we go. Well, the more you know. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and watch the trailer really quickly. Uh, I'll give you my thoughts on it, and then we'll move over to the Steam page and then the FAQ, which kind of has a bit more of a, a meat to it so we can find out a bit more about the actual game because this is just obviously a cinematic trailer. Rage, goddess. Sing of the rage of Peleus' son, Achilles. Murderous. Doomed. the children of men, but as leaves that drop at the wind's breath. Boom, so there we go. That is going to be the announcement trailer. We got a good idea of when the game's coming. It's coming out next year. I would assume probably around about March time. That's 10 to when they release stuff uh, like this before the next quarter, financial year starts. So I would assume we'd see this around about March time. That's kind of what they've tended to do in the past. And I mean, honestly, I know that's just an announcement trailer, but it doesn't really blow me away. I don't want to be negative because we haven't seen a lot of stuff, but... I mean, honestly, the proportions of, like, the body parts felt kind of, like, cartoonish. The battle itself kind of felt a bit cartoonish, but maybe that's just kind of the style they're going for. It kind of really reminded me about, like, like Civ, you know, Civ 5 and or Civ 6 and stuff that they've done. It kind of really kind of resembled that, and maybe that's just what they're going for. Um, but right off the bat, I don't know, it, it didn't really blow me away. So now we get to take a look at some of the screenshots that they've added to the Steam page. And again, I'll link all of this stuff down below so that you guys can check it out for yourself. So what's that actually? Well, I guess go back to the trailer really quickly. We can just look at some of the, some of the stuff. So I mean, to be fair, like you can see that you've got obviously Achilles, you've got Hector uh, going to be. So that's obviously Achilles right there. You've got Hector towards the end. Uh, of the battle obviously fighting him is going to be that and that also it does seem like there's hopefully going to be a big emphasis on sieges because you know it's Troy after all but basically the entirety of it is just a one big old siege over 10 years um, so it should be yeah, pretty interesting to see what they do with that I, I really hope they do go hard with sieges make them really interesting um, and obviously dueling is going to be a thing as well um, but yeah I don't know like something like this it just doesn't feel like ultra realistic and that the scale of it as well doesn't like blow me away either. I mean, obviously this time period doesn't exactly resemble huge battles, but you know, come on, it's a video game. You can embellish it and really go for it. This does obviously confirm though that there's not going to be any like monsters, you're not going to have a minotaur running around the battlefield, even though it is obviously based off the Iliad, they're going to kind of go for a more grounded approach and, and really try and push through that, which is good. However, that does not mean that there's not going to be anything like that. So we'll quickly again take a look at the Steam page, which I was just on, so you can, you can check this out in the comments down below. They've kind of got a few description, a few bits talking and stuff, but like this will be more important to take a look at. So, you know, taking a look at that, you can kind of see I mean these are like going to be so edited by their art team but you do have I assume Troy in the background which you know could mean for like a multi-walled settlement with multiple gates and stuff that would be pretty cool um, you kind of have a good idea as well about a bit of this I don't know this like this just looks kind of like really cartoonish you know 
that they've got these colours to really represent them, which is fine, but... I don't know, definitely going to have to see more. Campaign map will be the next one, so we get a good look at the campaign map. And the great thing is, it looks like there's a ton of cities just scattered throughout. It seems like there's maybe like cities and then villages, which don't have walls, so you'll have these big settlements. Uh, it also seems like we have agents again added back in the game. Obviously in Three Kingdoms, they removed them. Thrones of Britannia removed agents, but it looks like that we, we are going to be getting heroes once again. And you probably have Achilles and, um, and Hector right here. Uh, I'm not sure if this is Troy, it kind of is, yeah, I think this could be Troy because you go up, that's kind of where Alexander crossed, right? So yeah, this is probably Troy right here, and you've got like, you know, uh, Pella and stuff along there, even though that's a little bit further forward, but still. Um, as well as that, you can see some naval ships, and again, they talk about navies in a second, which I'm kind of disappointed with. Uh, but, I mean, overall, it does look very cartoony. It looks like Civ 6, but I'm not necessarily against it, you know? It kind of is what it is, and I feel like this is just the direction they're going with with these games. So, I'm not necessarily against it. I'm just going to have to see what it looks like in a, in a, in a, in a proper game. Um, again, you're kind of going to have, like, you know, gods and stuff coming around. And again, it does look good. It just looks quite cartoony. Again, we get a glimpse of, like, a fleet um, and some armies scattered around, I assume. Uh, some more, so I think we've got one picture right here. So we get a good idea of, like, we have some uh, chariots right here. You've got naval landings again. But again, I don't really know why these are in the picture because you'll see in a bit what, they, what they've what they done with naval stuff. Yeah, I guess you get a glimpse of maybe that's Troy in background, so maybe there'll be multiple battles. You'll fight, like, a battle. So, like, yeah, honestly, this could maybe hint towards a, you know, a multi-layer siege. Maybe you have to have a battle outside of the city first to then, you know, set your camp up and go forward. I mean, again, it could could just be a picture of a battle outside of the city you know it literally doesn't mean anything we'll obviously have to wait till we get a little bit more information and in the last screenshot you kind of get this glimpse and this will again talk back to the faq they did but they're adding in basically they're not adding in mythical creatures they're adding in kind of the spirit of them so you know when someone says oh that character was you know ajax was as strong as a minotaur this is going to be kind of what represents it and i think they're going to be individual characters as well so you're not going to have these, you know, big groups of, like, you know, six dudes which are like this. I think you see uh, one of the pictures, maybe it's this one. Uh, you can see the, they're just a lone soldier right here who is that Minotaur-looking character. Um, so you can see him right there. So there's going to be individual heroes. Achilles is going to be by himself and not in a group. You're going to have, uh, you know, Hector and, and you know, everyone else, Paris, are going to be individual characters. I think this basically confirms it, I would say. Um, also, this battle does look pretty small. With the units, I mean, again, I don't know, like, I feel like these are going to be the best images they have to show of the game, right? Because it's the announcement, the artists have been working overtime on making these look good. And it just kind of looks a bit small. I don't know, but again, maybe that's just kind of how they're developing it, you know? It could just work. I don't want to kind of bash on the game, but it's just initial, initial opinions of it, I don't know. I'm really, like, I'm not blown away by it, but maybe that's a good thing, because maybe the game is just really, really good. Um, so I'm looking forward to it, you know, I'm not going to write off a game, I'm not going to say the game is amazing, and I'm not going to say the game is awful if I haven't played it. So we've got a few kind of initial stuff, and again, you can read this if you want to, I'm just going to pick off a few interesting bits, because they kind of talk about why they did it, you know, why they chose to do the Iliad, bit, like, version, and so on and so on. So the bits I'm more interested are of the, this stuff down here, which is more about the mechanics, so... They talk about gods and how they'll play a role in the game because they wanted to kind of in incorporate that in, but they, they didn't decide to have like Zeus running around the battlefield, throwing his lightning bolts down and, and slaughtering foes. So because of that, gods are going to basically be like buffs. I, I assume it's going to probably be the mechanic in Warhammer 2, uh, Warhammer 1 with Norska, where you just pray to a god and you complete their missions and they'll give you certain bonuses. That's kind of how I imagine it will play in it's, it's this part as well, I should probably highlight it. It. Um, yeah, that's how I imagine it's probably going to play out, honestly, um, because they do tend to reuse stuff like that in previous mechanics and kind of find new ways to innovate them. So I assume it's going to be quite similar to that, you know, you'll have these certain gods and they'll give you bonuses. And you can kind of pick and choose. Maybe some will give you, maybe some will make Achilles really, really strong. And then maybe some will make Achilles army really, really strong. Uh, and so on and so on. Maybe some will, you know, help the fertilization of your crops. So you'll have more food to do certain stuff. I, I, that's kind of what I'm guessing from this. And you'll just have to like pray and complete missions to kind of get your standing up with the, with each certain god. And there'll probably be different tiers and levels. So that's the way that they will be created. Next, they talk about, um, will there be any mythical characters? They said no. 
know, but they're going to be like people who represent the mythical characters and they will be included in unique warriors to the roster whilst adding an extra layer of tactical, I mean, blah, 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 blah. blah. This is obviously very like, you know, PR styled written. So I'm just going to kind of pick up what uh, what I can. Again, so they talk about how battles will be in Troy. They say it's a heavy infantry, the inf infantry focus in Troy combat to reflect the realistic uh, time of the age. So you're going to have like elite warriors. I mean, again, it doesn't really, I guess it's quite hard to hype up a battle when it's just historical, but I feel like you can quite easily do it. But I don't know, you know, I feel like they've probably come from doing Mr. Warhammer so much where it's like, yeah, you're going to have massive giants coming in. And now they're just like, you're going to have an elite defensive warrior going up against an elite assault trooper. Again, that doesn't really like make me really blown away. From I feel like they could have done a better job of describing that. But I'm sure the battles, as long as they're grounded, you have like infantry clashing against infantry and the battles, there's strategy in the battles. I'll be happy. So, again, they talk about how there's not really much cavalry used in these battles, uh, much whatsoever. So, it's going to be more about, um, yeah, it's going to be more infantry focused, moving, you know, blocks of infantry into each other um, and other combats. They also talk about which heroes will be featured. So, you're going to obviously have, you know, uh, the Prince of Troy, Hector. Uh, I think um, you also obviously have Achilles, obviously. They've, they've said that there's going to be eight of them. So, you're going to have eight characters. I, I assume four on either side. So, Again, it looks like there's going to only be... Well, no, no, no. I was going to say there's only going to be two factions. But, I mean, what this... I think it actually it tells you on the Steam page, if you take a look at it, how many playable characters. Or, yeah, but, I mean, there's eight. We know there's eight. Which, I guess, will be scattered throughout of uh, throughout the, the game itself. Uh, next role, what role will Diplomacy play? So, they're going to be going ahead and taking the Free Kingdoms Diplomacy, which is awesome. So, this does sound like it's going to be based off of the 3K engine rather than Rome 2, which is... Which is good, it will make it feel a lot more modern, it will allow them to do a bunch more stuff, so I'm happy they've done that, even though I feel like they've gone with a less realistic style with it, but, you know, we'll just have to see as we get more announcement trailers and engine trailers and stuff, to see how combat actually works. Uh, it talks about economy as well, uh, again, nothing too much, just talking about, you know, it's a barter economy, so there's going to be some mechanics of that. Um, you have five different resources, so you'll have uh, wood, food, stone, bronze, and gold, and I guess you'll have to use these to, to build certain buildings, maybe. You'll have to, uh, it does suggest right here as well, you'll need food and wood um, are good to recruit early game units, so you're going to need certain resources. And maybe there'll even be like stockpile systems where you use up these resources. So instead of just paying gold, you're going to be paying to, for their equipment and other stuff. So that could be pretty interesting, honestly, to see how they go with the economy. Um, and yeah, you know, I, I assume also you're going to be able to like buy these resources from people. So again, that might add in some diplomacy stuff. Maybe you're getting all of your, your wood from a certain ally that you have. And then all of a sudden they get taken out. So now your entire wood supply is gone, meaning you can't recruit certain units or build ships. And that, that could be really interesting, honestly, that could be a good game mechanic. So it'll be fun to see what they do with that. You know, the economy as is, is kind of, you know, bland. So at least they're trying something. And then finally, we have, will there be naval battles? Basically, no, there won't. You're going to have ships, but you're not going to have anything else. They're just going to disembark. If two navies hit each other, they're just going to disembark. And really, that's super disappointing. You know, they talk about how there was, there's not really much stuff about naval warfare from the Trojan period. But just make it up, you know. I'm sure you've made up stuff about Minotaurs. So, I don't know. It's really disappointing. It just seems like naval battles are such a mess in, like, Rome 2 that they're just like... We just don't want to do them. We don't want to spend the time or the resources. So honestly, that's kind of disappointing. I would have loved for them to give naval battles another go, make them interesting. Um, but maybe I'll we'll just spend the resources elsewhere. So uh, hopefully we'll see something. I mean, I feel like this is just a, a, such a, a lame, like, oh, when the two navies clash, they'll disembark on a nearby island and settle the score. Like, it's, I feel like that's just like, just say you don't want to do naval battles. Just say that naval battles are too much work to do instead of like, Instead of this, I don't know. I'm, I'm personally not a, um, I'm personally not a, a huge favor. And it also do give a bit of a hint as well um, that like armies of fight at sea will gain Poseidon's favor. So I guess they'll just get better at, at fighting at sea, even though they're not really fighting at sea. They're fighting on an island. This was, yeah, this was probably my biggest disappointment, um, you know. But you know, it is what it is. Um, and honestly, I don't, I don't mind. Like I, I'm intrigued. I'm not exactly. 
like blown away by any of this. It does look quite cartoony. It looks like I'm about to play Civ 6, but that's not going to write it off. If it's a good game, it'll be a good game. I really hope they do try and stick with some grounded stuff throughout the campaign. It, it, again, it seems like they're trying to really like mix. They're trying to stick to their roots, but they're finding it very hard to do that because I assume the more kind of cartoonish and the more like this they go, the, the more people will buy the game and the bigger the community gets, which is obviously always a good thing, you know, it's always good. Uh, as long as the game's good, you know, more people will play it. So we'll just have to wait and see how things go. Um, if you have an opinion on the game, let me know in the comments down below. I will be reading them. You can also find all the links down below uh, to check out for yourself. And yeah, just let me know what you think of like, is there, are there certain aspects you really don't like? Do you not like the look of the game? Do you love the look of the game? What do you think of these battles? Um, you just let me know. Again, this kind of looks like an arena screenshot, I'm not going to lie. Uh, so maybe it's going to be, I don't know. I mean, obviously not, but I don't know. I mean, I'm intrigued. I'm definitely intrigued. I'm not blown away by it, if I'm honest, but I'm not going to like, you know, write off the game or anything. I'm sure we'll uh, get a lot more content in the next six months. I would assume it's going to be early March uh, that we get access to the game and hopefully they'll be showing lots of stuff beforehand. So uh, yeah, I I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I'm not like on the hype train yet, but I'm interested to see what they're going to come up with. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.